Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about flu and fever in uh, children. So, influenza is what I mean when I say flu. There are lots and lots of viruses that produce flu-like symptoms with aches and fever and vomiting and diarrhea and runny nose and stuffy nose and cough and goopy eyes, but I'm thinking particularly about the influenza virus. Now, a couple of different ones tend to go around every year, and the influenza virus likes to change its shape and its manifestation from year to year. So you can always go to the Centers for Disease Control website, cdc.gov, to see what's happening in this year's flu season and what symptoms you want to be on the lookout for. That said, one of the hallmarks of influenza infection is fever. Flu almost always causes a fever, and it can cause a very high fever. So let's talk about what kinds of fever worry us. Well, it depends, first of all, how old your child is. In a newborn infant up to age three months, no fever is okay. We never blow off a fever. A fever can be the only sign that we get of a life-threatening infection in the bloodstream. So if you find a rectal temperature in your infant of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or 38.0 degrees Celsius or above, you want to present immediately to a healthcare provider. That is not something to watch for a little while and see what happens. That is a medical emergency. Now, a fever that occurs in a child over three months of age and under a year of age that doesn't have an explanation, the child doesn't seem sick, they don't seem to have the flu, you don't know what's going on, that can be a sign of a serious urinary tract infection or kidney infection, and you still want to have that child seen. For children over that age, a fever that goes on for three days with viral symptoms is pretty normal. So if your child appears to have influenza and has a fever, that's normal. However, you want to treat influenza if you're going to do it in the first 48 hours. So under normal circumstances, I say, eh, three days of fever is fine. If you're worried about influenza, call your doctor's office first and see if your child qualifies for anti-influential treatment because you want to get that started in the first two days of symptoms. Otherwise, it's not likely to do any good. Fevers over 104 degrees always get our attention, not because they're going to hurt the baby. Fever does not hurt children, even a high fever, a 105. It's not going to cook your baby's brain. However, it's a little red flag to us. It says, hey, I've got something serious going on. You need to look at me and figure it out. So if your child's fever is over 104 degrees, even if they have flu symptoms, do bring them to the doctor within 24 hours to see what's going on. Influenza can cause a nasty pneumonia that we want to treat, and that could be what's going on. For a fever over 105 degrees, again, it's not going to hurt the child, but it tells me urgently, look at this child. See if there's a pneumonia. See if there's a really bad ear infection. See if there's something you need to treat. So for a fever over 105, go ahead, go to urgent care, go to the ER, go to your doctor's office if it's open, and get somebody to eyeball your child and see what's going on. Talking about influenza and fevers in children, I'm Dr. David Hill.